Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about a report from the Daily Mail. No, you guys know that I've stopped doing these reports from the Daily Mail, but I thought this one was rather interesting. Now, the title of this mail is Why Bianca Sensori's Parents Feel Tricked by Their Daughter Over Her Split from Kanye West. No. I'm going to give you guys a quick synopsis into this. So basically what they're saying is that Bianca Sensori, she was going to leave her hubby. You know, she were, she was telling her friends and her family that she was going to leave, but they feel tricked because she made a sudden 360. You know, she changed her mind and then she rushed back to Ye in Tokyo, Japan, and they feel very confused over it. They are not sure what is going on with Bianca and Ye, and they feel like she's being controlled according to the Daily Mail. You know how the Daily Mail does. <laughs> and they're always getting inside scoop from someone whenever it's convenient. Now, they go into a lot of stuff. They're saying Bianca Sensori parents feel strict by their daughter, who they truly believe was finally leaving Kanye West before she seeming, seemingly reneged on the decision. Bianca's marriage to the controversial rapper 47 appeared to be on the rocks on Monday when multiple reports claim the couple had been spending time apart with an insider telling DailyMail.com that Bianca 29 had told her family that they had been drifting. But hours later, the unlikely couple appeared here to confirm they were still together as they packed on the PDA in Tokyo, Japan on Tuesday, leaving Bianca's family very confused. Now, <laughs> I have to laugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Daily Mail further states her parents are shocked by what they're seeing. They feel tricked because Bianca told them she was getting ready to leave. A source exclusively told DailyMail.com they can't understand what is happening and feel that she is being controlled. As per their usual allegations, no. They continue by saying, Insider close to the architect told Daily Mail that she had been telling loved ones she was getting ready to leave during her recent trip home to Australia. Though the insider did not, did note that there is a chance they'll reunite. Meanwhile, TMZ reported that the musician had been telling friends he is done with Bianca and wanted to be single while spending time in Japan. Bianca's apparent 360 has left loved ones even more worried about the level of control that Kanye might wield in their relationship, a concern that has been raised previously. A second source told the Daily Mail Bianca's family feels confused right now. Her sister just spent time with her in LA and saw her first and how dysfunctional Bianca's marriage is. When she went back home, she told everyone that she couldn't take it anymore. Then suddenly, she is back in Japan, loving up on Kanye. They continued. <laughs> I'm sorry for the theatrics, but I just had to. I had to. They're saying her story keeps changing and no one knows what will come next. If Kanye can have so much control over her that she is being dishonest with her family and friends. It is so scary. Like, really? Really? It, it happens. It's a marriage. No. They continue. By saying a source previously confirmed that the news of the split had come from Bianca and Kanye themselves, stating Kanye and Bianca were responsible for the news that they were divorcing, getting out there, because this is what they both told people. She told her friends in Australia, and he told anyone that was willing to listen. Insider now have stated the peer may have pulled the move for attention, as the source added, no, you took that from my channel. You took that from my channel. Now they continue by saying they knew that by doing this, it would create some buzz and make them relevant. And he tries to promote his new album. You took that from my channel. You took it from my channel. <laughs> they continued by saying they both know that people are just over them and that her naked outfits are not enough to keep people interested. Everyone has seen her naked now. There is nothing to wonder about. Okay, enough, enough. They then move into when he and Bianca got married, rode off in the sunset, yada, 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 Austin and Kofat, okay? They continued on the theatrics. No. Whew. We haven't heard these stories before, to be honest, coming from the Daily Mail. And this is what I would say. The Daily Mail is always saying that Bianca's sister says 
Bianca's sister is saying, but Bianca's sister's action is always showing to be opposite of what the media is reporting. Because even though I may not have said this, while everyone was speculating Ye and Bianca being over, you know what I saw? Angelina Sensori, she was showing pictures as, as though she, she and her sister was just having fun, having a good time. So I don't know why it is that they're always saying that a sister says, the friend says, What's the name of the friend? If, you know, if the friend is so such a friend and wants to look out for Bianca by telling you everything, I mean, if the friend is so bold to be a backstabber, why not call a name? But I understand this is what the media does to make their money. And as I've said to you guys in my previous video, as the media outlets have copied it, this is something that Ye does. Ye plays a lot of mind games with the media. You know, it's as though he's giving them a taste of their own medicine. Whenever they try to play games with him, he doubles it and he twists them. He, he leaves them in a turn. We saw Tom Brady doing the same thing with Irina Sheik when the media outlets were consistently reporting that he was with Kim. Irrespective of the fact that his publicist came out and said it's not true, they kept on using that man's name with Kim for clout, relevance, and attention. So I... I've told you guys before that Ye plays a lot of mind games with the media, not his fans. He does it with the media because he knows that if his fans understand him, they will understand what he's doing. And he knows that there are some people who love to say, yay, choke on Ye to the lions. Yay. Yay. Let's burn him on a stake. Yay. Yay. Get rid of Kanye. Yay. You know, <laughs> there are people who are like that. And also, we have known the media to be very destructful and as it relates to the Daily Mail, and I'm just being honest, they do have a reputation. They definitely have a reputation and their reputation is to destroy people that goes against the grain, if you know what I mean. If you go against Zionism, if you go against the powers that be, how dare you, ye? So if you put all those things into factors, you would understand how they try to put these things together because ever since that, it has has been announced, you know, that Ye from one media outlet, I should say, because there was really no announcement from one media outlet started with the shenanigans of Ye separating. It seems as though Daily Mail had a meeting with their staff and they're like, okay, we need to come up with a list of articles. Yes, we saw the divorce on the horizon. The moment her family, her, her father came into town, we know that was the catalyst for their divorce. The father initiated the divorce and now Oh, they're together. It is the sister. It is the friend. It is the mother. The family feels so betrayed. The family cannot be, cannot feel betrayed because the mom herself is married and the mom understands how marriages are. This is the father's second marriage. He understands even more than the mother's. Even more than a mother, I should say, that marriages are not easy. So our family is not betrayed. They understand what is going on. Not because you don't know, but they know. So, you know, it's family. Stop talking about that girl's family as though they have a rift. Uh, you know, there's a problem in the family. If they have a problem, you would not know. They are very tight knit. They're very close and they keep their private business private. You know, you can say her parents are disappointed, but to know that you're telling a lie to say her parents feels betrayed. Okay. If her parents is always talking to you guys so much, why is it that when they're in LA, we never see the father or the mother speaking to any of the paparazzi. We haven't seen them speaking to a single journalist, but still yet, as their back, backs are turned, the door is closed. Oh, Bianca dad says this. Oh, Bianca mom says that. Bianca sister says she's horrible. Bianca's mom says she feels tricked. Bianca dad feels tricked. And this is how you know they're telling a goddamn lie. Because if someone is not willing to stand up to the media out in the open and say something, why would they talk to you behind closed doors? You know who would be tricked in this case? It would be Bianca who would be tricked by your parents. Bianca thinks she have a loving family. No. Bianca thinks she has a trustworthy family. No. So if anyone who is, if anyone is tricked, it would be Bianca. It would be Bianca thinking that she has a loving, caring family, but every time her back 
turns, her family member goes whispering, you know, go tattletailing to the media. And that is not making any sense because you could never give us something solid, something that makes sense that actually comes from the family. It's just, you know, <laughs> theatrics. Oh, the sister doesn't like this. The friend doesn't like that. And irrespective of that, we see her with the friends. We see her with the sister. We're going to see her with her mom and dad again. But this is what the media do, you know. And as we know, Bianca is just the hot topic. Anything containing Bianca's name, it auto automatically goes to number one. But I mean, if you're creating so much articles about the couple, they're keeping the lights and water on. At least you can do is give them a little justice in the mix of all the smear campaigns you've been putting out against them. It's really disgusting, really repugnant. But then again, we have to ask, who is behind it? Is it Kim and Chris Jenner? I want to hear from you guys. So let's get the discussion popping. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. Stay safe, stay sweet, stay blessed, and see you guys later. Peace.